I am going to be playing Black Myth Wukong for the first time ever. This video is a playthrough as well as my reactions to what I think about the game at the very end of every episode. This is going to be a series on my YouTube channel so stay tuned for more of these videos. If you haven't heard of this game, you are a Wukong with a badass staff and you had to do some other things that I'm going to find out with you as well. I have not got spoiled nor know anything about this game so it's going to be an adventure and a learning experience so join me on this adventure into Black Myth Wukong. Let's do New Journey. Damn, what a sick cinematic. Damn. My master. <laughs> Safe. The scriptures. Sound. All I ever wanted was a life in my mountain, free from you and your so-called merits. Those high above don't trust me. I understand that. And they send you and those knuckleheads to threaten me. To obey and serve once more. <laughs> I understand that too. But what I don't understand is... You bastards killing my kind! That's a badass looking dog. Stay back, stupid dog. <laughs> Mark this. He's not just any monkey. He's a monkey of merit. A monkey was made Buddha once. None other than me can challenge him to a duel. Look, monkey. I don't make a habit of fighting someone I've bested before. Here's my offer. If you lose, I'll take you to the Celestial Court. They will stay and level your mountain. But if I lose... I shall certainly take revenge, and they will level your mountain nonetheless. Hmm. How tragic would that be, huh? You are one of the court. We don't need to resort to violence. How about you bend the knees, admit the wrongs, and we can put this behind us? Years, except for that pain. 
Hague. You're the one who talks the tallest tales. Good. I am entertained. Speaking of entertainment, wouldn't it be fun if I pluck your extra eye out for my snack and allow you to keep the other two? Because I'd hate to let you miss how I'll slaughter each mongrel of the court. Those below, those above, and that black mutt of yours. Come at me, all of you. Damn. The victorious fighting Buddha. Have you any idea how many would give their everything for immortality? Immortality? <laughs> for that word, all realms and beings have ruined themselves. Oh, what? What was that? Oh, we're in a cinematic again. The Celestial Court welcomed you, foul monkey, yet you remain untamed. None shall save you now. <laughs> Dear brother, your edge needs honing. Good. I was in need of a back scratcher. <laughs> Oh, what is happening? What the hell? <laughs> Holy sh! Bro, this is insane. Oh damn! So I like I go to stone so they can't hurt me. Okay, so it's like a shield. Foul monkey! Taste my axe! Holy sh Damn. Rat, you call that a duel? The glare up here is dazzling. Fight me in the woods if you have the guts. He turned into a bird? <laughs> he did as well. What the hell? What is going on right now? Dang, he hit me so hard my game lagged. Damn, raiding my mountain that I love so much, apparently. This game is beautiful. That was like the best cinematic I've ever seen in any game before. So ends the last tale of Sun Wukong. A hero who treasured his freedom above all else. Buddhahood he attained, yes, but cumbersome he found the celestial rules, for he yearned to come back and to revel in the simple joys with us. Little did he know his choice to forgo the life above only fueled their mistrust. It's a rock. Maybe. What am I looking at? What the hell? <sighs> this stone has stood for countless days on the mountain since my youth. <laughs> They said that his remains lie within it. 
<laughs> Damn, he's old. Unbegotten, undying. Such is the nature of a stone monkey. Though his body was broken, his spirit endures. Into six relics he turned, and separately they escaped, choosing to stay hidden. Those are the six senses of the great sage. Yet no one has ever seen them. Not in centuries. I'm old now. Venture through all the lands, I cannot. Her speaks like Yoda. Yet among you, there might be one who is destined. One that shall recover all his scattered relics. And upon the return of the relics to Mount Tuago, he may yet rise again. Damn. Black Myth Wukong. What a crazy intro to a game. That is the best first impression I've ever seen in any game in my entire life. Chapter 1, Black Cloud, Red Fire. Wow, that was really good. This Pete's knew I needed a snack. You sneaky rascal! Dad, fool me! I'll make sure you regret it! Okay, I pulled a staff out of my ear. What was that? Well, these people are bad. Weave. Weave. Ooh, damn. Oh, I missed. Oh, no! Oh, that was cool. What was that? Okay, I have to lock on him. That's how. Okay. Oh, no. Weave. Okay, we're gonna hit him. Bro, no way. Okay, my, my, my health is in the left corner. Okay, he's dead. No matter how many times you come around, you're still as mischievous as ever, eh? It looks like we have motion blur, so I'm going to go to settings and turn that off real quick. Ooh, we have equipment. Willow wood staff, so we can upgrade these clothes. This game, I can already tell, is going to be a blast to play. Is that a monkey or am I just seeing it? Yes, I'm a monkey. Damn, a heavy attack did so much damage. Okay, will. Okay, so we're picking up things from characters in the game, and it's called will. Okay, we got more will from him. We're gonna open this chest. What did I get out of it? Tiny piece of gold and stone spirit. Okay. Oh, we gotta follow this light, it looks like. What is this? Oh, what, what you waiting for? Pluck your hair and make an offer. Pluck my hair and make an offer? Okay. I, the keeper of Black Wind Mountain, have long been waiting for your arrival. Ugh. This guy looks disgusting. Oh, his spitting image? I'd say. Spitting oh, image of that one character? Is Guan Yin Temple. Hmm. Once it was bustling with worshippers. Before it was ruined by that fire. Ah. Then the temple was rebuilt. Oh, what good is it to rebuild a temple if the goodwill of men has been burnt to ashes? You've forgotten this place, but they haven't forgotten you. 
Ooh. It's a tough one. Good luck to you. What, so you're just gonna dip out on me? Oh. Okay, we can figure we can just talk this out, guys. What? It's like monkeys versus wolves or whatever you are. Okay, he's dead. He's dead as well. Okay. Okay, there's more there's more enemies. Forest of wolves. Okay, he's down. Looks like we're gonna want to go with light attacks on these guys because it's faster and they're more agile as well. Actions cost stamina. Okay. To ability to, Okay, my, my stamina bar is bottom left and it's that yellowish orange. He's not dead after a heavy attack? Wow, that guy was strong. Okay, I like how they disappear and disintegrate like that. That looks really cool. Can gather this as well. What is this? Gentian. Ooh, that's a big guy. This is the first boss. This blue-looking guy over here. Bullguard, his name is. Okay, I just did a heavy attack. That was bad. Okay, I'm already kind of low. So we're gonna hit him with an attack. Okay. We're doing good so far. We're gonna just analyze his attacks while we do light attacks before we do any heavy attacks or anything like that. Get his timing right. So he's super slow. So we are way more agile than this guy. Ooh, that hurt. I gotta hit R for Gore to recover health. Okay. Alright, we are getting destroyed right now. Oh my gosh. We're just gonna recover health. Okay, we're fully up now. Alright, let's uh, attack him. Miss, he missed. Okay. So he hits an... Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, I hit him hard. What the hell? What was- Oh, sh Oh, no. No, does this mean- What is going on? Oh, he did actually come back to help me. Dang. Thank you, old man. It's been a while. But the immobilized spell still works like a charm. Immobilized spell. Since you hail from Mount Huaguo, it won't hurt to teach you a handy trick. Okay. Now, here we go. Give me your hand. Immobilize spells. A simple hand gesture can bind the enemy in place. That is a very useful trait. Okay. Immobilize. Okay. There you go. Should you come across any miscreants, just point your finger at them and release this spell. You'll be able to hold them in place while giving yourself a breather. Sadly, mine is but a humble trick. Its power will wear off within a few short moments. Though it's good enough against boneheads like this one. Anyway, just consider it an ace up your sleeve. Okay. No! Thank you very much, old man. These days, no, no manners. Fear not. Teach him a lesson with your new spell. Okay, so I have to click one to immobilize him. And then I can hit him with a heavy attack. Let's do that. Okay, now it broke after two heavy attacks. I gotta I have nothing in my gourd. So I can't heal myself. So I gotta be very careful here now. So we're gonna wait till he attacks. Oh, no way that hit me. No way that hit me. Ooh, I'm dead. Okay, that means I failed, right? <laughs> okay, first death. Okay, heavy attacks disc uh, combobulate him a little bit. So we have enough time. Okay, that hit me, so that's not good. We need to get back up quickly. 
Okay, he's gonna charge here. Okay, we dodged. Okay, we gotta rush him. Hit him with a heavy attack. Ooh, that hit me. That was not worth doing. Uh, what is going on? Okay. Okay, this game is very... Uh, it's about timing. Okay, I dodged way too soon. Got it back. Okay. We're gonna wait for an attack. That was an easy one to dodge. Dodge that one, dodge that one. Dodged. Hit him with that heavy attack and he's dead. Let's drink from the gourd. Okay, we refilled our health. We got... Oh, wow, that was hard. Okay, that was fun. That was super engaging. Okay. If I had to say first boss, I'd give it probably like a, a 6 out of 10 for hardness. It, it's honestly really not that difficult. It's just knowing how to really get that timing down of his dodging. Otherwise, he's like very slow, very bad. But you actually have to dodge way later than I expected. So that was interesting. Subscribe!